What is going on guys, this dealer here back again, and I can already hear some of the Sony guys out there, oh no, an Xbox guy is going to talk about the new blockchain DRM system that Sony has patented. I, I already hear, don't, don't, don't you, don't you do it, don't you talk about that DRM, I know, I know we hated it four years ago, and we certainly weren't going to say nothing about it now, but, but don't you, don't you ruin my day. Well, you know what, I'm going to actually talk about it, uh, I'm going to try to leave the uh, console war stuff out of it, of course, I've got to have a little bit of console war stuff in it for those that showed up for that, so let's satisfy that 30% real quick, I, you know, just to be honest, I put it in a little clip, it, it didn't take, it only took about an hour to make, so let's just get this out of the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this this comes to us thanks to my buddy Rand. He brought it to my attention. I decided I wanted to talk about it. Quick disclaimer: <laughs> I am not uh, a networking or software guy. Okay. A lot of this is open to interpretation. I'm going to be reading you direct quotes, and you can fill in the blanks. I'll tell you what I think it means, and of course, I would love it if you guys gave me your thoughts in the comments down below. So this is how I've decided to tackle this. I am going to read a description of this patent very slowly. All source information can be found in the description box down below as always. And of course, feel free to follow along at home. It says, a system for generating a rights blockchain, storing rights of a user, the system comprising a registration authority configured to receive an enrollment request and a public key from the user. The registration authority also configured to verify that the user has a private key corresponding to the public key. Generate a user identifier using the public key and generate and deliver the rights blockchain having a Genesis block including the user identifier to the user. Now, I understand that this was essentially um, German to myself as well as I'm sure at least, you know, 10% of you out there. And that's why I'm leaving it open to interpretation. I do not claim to be uh, a networking guy or a guy that is of software. I'm more of a hardware guy. So, of course, let's add some context to this with the article. Now, this article tries its best to offer some kind of context to how this system is going to work, and they reference the old PC style of doing things from the, well, hey, late 90s, 2000s, things have changed. Every PC gamer surely misses this screen where you buy a copy of a game or some kind of digital product, you stick the disc in your computer, and you find the code that comes in the packaging, enter it to validate your purchase, to prove that you own the purchase. I am confused by this. I don't know why this would be a good thing. Maybe I'm missing something. That's why I'm asking the comments to fill me in. Give me your best guess as to why this is even a thing. The article also references the fact that the industry gave Microsoft hell for this kind of key redeeming feature uh, when they initially planned to have DRM back in 2013. All consoles currently have DRM, provided you are on someone else's Xbox, it will do a check to make sure you're signed in so you can play your own games, things like that. But uh, otherwise, this system seems to be a drastic departure from the one we use today. So let me know what you guys think down below. Is this a bad thing? Is this coming to PlayStation 4? Or is this going to be some kind of launch system for PS5? Or maybe it's something else entirely. And of course, if you like the work I do here on the channel, check out the Patreon down there in the description. For as little as a buck a month, you can win all kinds of games and hey, have access to all kinds of cool features. And for those that checked out my last video, uh, I really hope that you guys watched the whole video about Tomb Raider because at the end I offered my opinions. A lot of people were saying I said things I did not say. Uh, and of course, what I said was actually confirmed overnight. Uh, so Tomb Raider is doing what I said it would do at the end of the video. And uh, hey, like I said, I don't just make this stuff up, but of course, if you enjoyed the video, if you got a little laugh, hit that like button. Of course, if you're into this kind of stuff, subscribe for more. I'm Dealer. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm out.